All right, what's up, everybody? I've been getting questions about problems like these. Um, I made a YouTube video previously. I'll link that. But I just wanted you guys to kind of go through and work a different type of problem where it gives you a prompt, and then we got to figure everything out from the beginning. And so this is page three, question one. Um, and basically, I've laid it out step by step, and we're going to go through and do it together. So in man, assume that spotted skin, uppercase S, is dominant over non-spotted skin, lowercase s, and that woolly hair, the uppercase W, is dominant over non-woolly hair, the lowercase w. Cross a marriage between a heterozygous, spotted, non-woolly man with a heterozygous, woolly-haired, non-spotted woman. Give the genotypic and phenotypic ratios of the offspring. All right. So I laid it out to you. Step one, you can see in the red at the top right of your screen, it just tells you the same information I just read on the sheet. So if you want to lay it out like that, perfect. You want to underline, um, highlight, whatever it is you feel works best, do that. But basically all I did is laid it out. So the big S is spotted, lowercase s non-spotted, um, or the uppercase s, remember, is my dominant trait, or the lowercase s is my non-dominant trait. Okay, same thing with the woolly. So the woolly Big W, uppercase W, is dominant, and the lowercase W is non-woolly or recessive. All right, so that's step one. Moving to step two, where I go over to the information given in that second sentence. So a heterozygous spotted. So it's heterozygous. I have an uppercase S and a lowercase S that are going together because heterozygous means it carries both a dominant and a recessive trait. So that's for that. Now for the W's, he is non-woolly. So remember, non-woolly is recessive, and the only way that shows is if I have two recessive genes together, all right? So that's why I'm going to have the heterozygous, uppercase S, lowercase s, and a recessive, homozygous recessive, lowercase w, lowercase w. Okay, that's my man. Going to my woman. She is uh, heterozygous woolly hair. So for the W, again, heterozygous means she carries both a dominant and recessive trait. So big W, little w. And non-spotted. So just like we talked about earlier up top with the man, uh, non-spotted is, or excuse me, yeah, non-spotted is the recessive traits. So the only way for that to show is that there's two recessive traits. So lowercase s, lowercase s. Now step three here in green, it basically just shows my cross. So... The heterozygous, so big S, little s, w, w, times, which is my cross, the lowercase s, s, heterozygous, big W, lower W. That's my cross between man and woman, okay? So that's what it is I'm going to go through and do. I'm going to show you how it looks, how we foil it all out, and then we go. Okay, so here what I've done is I've laid out how my Punnett square is going to be set up. Now, I took the green is my man, and then the... Uh, the violet purple color is going to be the woman. So man's going across the top, woman's down on the left side. How I did that is I took here, to get this, I took that first S and I just basically went here to the W and that gave me that. Now how did I get that one? Same idea, start with that first S, but I worked my way over here, boom, and dropped it down. Moving over to this one, I went from small S to the first W, right there. Second one, small S. It's the second W, which gave me that. Now, going down to this bottom side here, or the left side, excuse me, same concept. I'm going to start here with that first S. I'm going to go to the first W. Same, right there. First S, going to the second W, right there. Same concept. Boom, right there. Little S, big W, right there. And then little S, little W, right there. Now here's my first box. My first box is where I've taken these and I've just basically crossed them together, right? So I'm going to take the big S, drop it down, pair it with the S from the female here, which is little s, drop it over. Then I'm going to lean over here where I have a small w, drop it down from the man. I'm going to come over. I have a big w, a dominant w from the female. And because it's dominant and it's the same trait, I'm just going to put it in front of the lowercase w. So that's what it is that I'm going to have here in this first box. Now I've gone on and finished that first row up top just so you guys can get an idea what it is that hopefully uh, you already understand, but just in case not, I, I knocked it out for you. So same concept here, because I have the same setup in this box and this box as I do in here, here, that's gonna roll over and be the same. Now here, these last two boxes in this row are gonna be a little bit different. So lowercase s, I drop down, lowercase s, I pull over, 
Dominant W goes first. Lowercase w goes right there. Same thing here as here because these are the same. Okay. So just looking at it, just that is my first row. And you are going to apply that same concept to the rest of the Punnett square. Okay. So I've gone on and I've finished the rest of my dihybrid cross square. Now, uh, I just color coded it to where you could see it to where you see how I did it. Hopefully I'm just dropping down the letters from the top down and then the letters from the side over and just combining them. And that's going to give me my genotype, which will express into my phenotype, which I'm about to go over here in a second. So now looking at the question at the very end where it says to give the genotypic and phenotypic ratios of offspring, I decided to start with the genotypes. So I should have four different options here. And basically, when I'm asking for the genotypes, what are the different combinations of, of the genes that I'm seeing show up in my uh, dihybrid cross square? And looking at it, so if I'm here and I'm going and saying that my heterozygous for both traits, I will have this one, this one, this one, and this one. So that's four. So you give me the four out of 16. Now, if I am heterozygous and homozygous recessive, so I'm here, I'm here. I know these are terrible. I apologize. Two and another one, two. Again, there's four. Now, if I'm homozygous recessive for both, I would say three, 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 and three, which then leaves me with this next one where I'm homozygous recessive for the uh, spotted, or excuse me, yeah, yeah, homozygous recessive for the spotted, and heterozygous for my uh, woolly hair. And that would just give me right there trait four, trait four, holy moly, these are bad, but hopefully you get the idea of trait four and trait four. So I should have four of each, which gives me four out of 16 or 25%. Now moving on to the phenotypes. In regards to my phenotypes, this is what I'm looking at. If I were to go through and use the information that was given here. Now, spotted, if I'm looking at a combination, so any two ways that could get me spotted would be big S, big S, or I would say big S, little s. Both of those would give me spotted. Okay, so that's what I'm looking for in that regard. Wooly would be the same thing. It would just be a, a uh, big W, oh, big W, or big W, little W. I apologize, that's terrible, but you get the idea. Uh, those are what I'm looking for. Those two things would give me spotted or wooly. Okay, so going through it, if I were to say spotted and wooly, all right, so any combination that has that, Boom, right there, right there, right there, and right there. Those are going to give me spotted and wooly. All right, so going to spotty, spotted and non-wooly. Okay, so spotted because I have big S, little s, non-wooly, lowercase w. So again, we're going to follow the exact same pattern that we went through with our genotypes, luckily, and it makes it fairly simple, okay? So I got that covered. Now, non-spotted. The only way to get non-spotted, little s, little s. And the only way to get non-wooly here would be little w and little w. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to go through and find that where I have a little two s's, lowercase s's and lowercase w's, which would be, boom, here, three, 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 three. And then the last one, non-spotted, which would fall right back here to my lowercase s's and wooly, uh, which would be, Again, one of these combinations of two uppercase W's or heterozygous W, big W, lower W. Okay, so which would give me right here again, four, 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 and last but not least, four. So that should hopefully wrap it up. So when it's asking for the genotypic or phenotypic ratios of the offspring, you are looking, boom, right there, and you are looking right there and those should be your responses so hopefully this helps us make sense if not i said always let me know um might be doing another one of these to kind of help you work through these problems and make sure you understand it to the best of your ability but for the most part this should be good this should help you through the rest of these problems uh good luck let me know if you guys need help see ya